Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank the Prime Minister for opening up the debate today. And just want to comment that, that, you know, in Iraq and Syria, there's no peace to keep. What we have to do is destroy ISIS. And we do support a more robust training mission. We do support the humanitarian relief, the diplomatic and political solutions that are necessary. But the Prime Minister has yet to give us one single good reason why we can't continue on with our F-18s bombing ISIS. We saw in reports just today that I ISIS is on the run, that their supply lines have been cut off, that they have had to cut back on the amount of money that they're paying to their militia, how much they're paying terrorists, how much they're paying their bureaucrats, and they're running out of food. And so we got them in a weakened position now, and that means that the, the bombing mission has worked. We need to keep the CF-18s in theater. So other than his rhetoric and comments a couple of years ago talking about whipping out our CF-18s and seeing how big they are, why not look at the reality of how good our pilots are with our CF-18s, how they have degraded and destroyed ISIS, and ultimately keep them in the fight to protect our troops on the ground? Yeah. Prime Minister. Uh, I'd like to point out to the member of Selkirk, Inderlade Eastman, that uh, we don't have any troops on the ground in the front lines. Our troops are there to train and support, and that is what we're going to be increasing. Uh, in terms of our support to advise and assist local troops. Because indeed, uh, of the 65 coalition members uh, engaged in the fight against ISIL, uh, there is a handful of them who are uh, responsible for airstrikes. And Canada uh, had a role in airstrikes. We are choosing to end that role in airstrikes so that we can better focus on uh, the next steps in the fight against ISIL, which means uh, encouraging local folks on the ground to have the capacity to continue putting pressure on ISIL to restore uh, their homes, uh, their lands, uh, and to degrade and defeat uh, ISIL on the ground, which is what local troops ultimately will have to do.